Hey guys, welcome back to the fifth episode of my sponge plug tutorials. Sorry for the lack of uploads. Um, I know last time I complained about that, but it's just difficult. I'm sorry. Enough complaining, enough of my excuses. Let's get on with the video. Um, today, uh, we're going to go over how to use configurations and how to use a new uh, Hocon configuration with configure it. Um, you probably don't know what any of those things are, but I'll go over, over what those things are uh, when we get into the video. Okay, so last episode we learned how to do God and healing commands. Um, along with those, we learned how to use executors and events. Um, and to take advantage of those and like use them to their full abilities, you can use config files to do certain stuff, like to save people who can be gods or whatever else you want. But config files can help a lot. Um, they're files where you can save, obviously, configurations or properties or whatever you want. Um, so let's get right into it. Right into it. As you see right here, we have our basic setup. Um, as we learned in the first video, we have our initialization event where we're going to register like commands or other stuff like that. We're not going to be using that too much today. We're just going to have a try catch statement in there. Um, but we're mainly only going to have one class today, and we're staying in there the whole entire time. Um, there's only around 20 lines of code for this. It's really simple, um, but you can do a ton of stuff with it. So let's start. To start along, we're going to want to do um, three main or four main things. We want to inject and do this. These are two annotations that sponge, or no, one Google, another one sponge. Um, shared root equals true. And um, to get rid of the error, public file configuration. Equals null. Okay, and that should go away. So this one right here creates the actual file, and it sets the configuration. Um, shared root is just where it shares it, and if it has a different root. Um, but this creates the actual file. The actual um, it'll be the name of your plugin. It'll be the ID. It won't be the, that. It'll be the ID dot conf or config. Um, and then we also need something else. We need inject. I keep on default. Egg shared root equals true. And we need to create public. Kind of, you can create these public or private or whatever you want. Um, depending on how you're going to be using them. Configuration. And then in here you can do configuration note or commented fig configuration note. We're going to be doing commented fig configuration note because that way you can write comments with you by using the node. Um, so we type in here commented configuration node and we we're going to name this configuration loader we're going to make that null because we're going to set it inside the initialization event and we have one last thing outside of the event oh i wrote command method equal configuration node equals null okay that this Basically, it's going to be the same thing as that if we want to load them the same. Um, so now it won't create it, but for us to create it, we have to do the try statement. And the reason I'm doing that is because we're creating a file, and always with creating files, you want to catch with the IO exception. Um, so let's do that right now. Try. Um, if So we're doing if the configuration, configuration exists. If it doesn't exist, uh, we're going to create it. So configuration, create new file. And we're going to do configuration node equals configuration loader dot load. And those are giving me errors because they have uh, an IO exception. So we got configuration loader dot load. No, we don't want to want to save. Configuration <laughs> loader dot save and then we gotta save the configuration node and we catch io exception e e dot print we're getting here here why okay i'll just type it out oh my god oh Type that in the wrong spot. This, messed up this. 
That should be the try. This should be the if. There we go. We make this exception. Okay, well, um, there we go. Um, so basically what we just did there, uh, I messed up the, I messed up the, uh, curly brackets for some reason. Um, your itches. Um, but what we just did there is we catched it. We're not done yet though. Um, we created it if it doesn't exist. And if it doesn't, if it doesn't create successfully, we print a stack trace to console. Um, but if it does exist, we just do configuration, creation loader dot, creation node. Dot save. Nope. Oh no, we we just set the node to uh the configuration like we did up here. Okay. And then this is something you can do optional if you're if you're going to be like using this and creating it to access it from another class, you can do public commented configuration. You can create a getter for the root node. I always name this root node, or like you can do a git node or whatever, and bam. And then if you're in another class, you can do just create an instance, set up or get her for the class, and then type tutorial dot git instance dot git root node or root node, whatever you want to do it. Um, and if you're wondering where to set the default values, uh, you can do that right here after load. You can do configuration node dot set value so. This will be at the very top, and we'll do. We'll do. This is a test, and we'll also do configuration node dot. Get node. This way, we can do. We can create the node and then set a value. Um, test, and we'll do. Dot. Yes, we'll do. Actually, no. We'll do configuration node test. Let's be like the structure of it. Um, what do I want to name it? Bool. So I'll make this a boolean dot set value false. And we'll do another one. We'll do configuration node dot get node test. We'll do string set value. Hello. And then we can actually set a comment, and we'll do get no. We'll set the comment uh, under this one. So we'll do that set comment. This is a comment, and let's go into our server folder. Oops, that's not what we want. We want to go into our desktop tutorial server. Let's make this tinier. Um, let's make sure we don't have pre-existing config. Okay, and we'll build this. Start up a server, and this is still 1.8.9. 1. 1. Um, Sponge hasn't released a uh, version for 1.9 yet, even though they are working on it. Um, they just came out with uh, version four of their API, uh, which is a big deal, starting. They've gone a long way, but right now we're in version 1.8.9. It's not really that big of a deal. Uh, no major breaks, or I guess, haven't happened yet. So let's jump right into the game. I have 1.8.9 loaded up here. Um, so we're going to fresh this, join the server. Doesn't really mean to do anything here. But I just want to join. If we go into the config and we do this. Okay, well. And as you see, this is our config. As you see, uh, it has our comment it has our boolean that we set and it has our string that we set a boolean let's look in here uh, um, our boolean is false as we set right here if you can see it boolean is false it says hello and it says this is a comment um i think that this this is test uh okay so that doesn't work if you don't set it where to go i think it just doesn't know where to go so it won't set it so make sure you set a place for it to go or something like that. Or like just set it automatically. Make sure you give it a node where to go. Um, so yeah, that's that. And if you want to expand on this, it's really simple to do. All you do is do whatever you want in the configuration node. 
and you can get the you can even like get lists of them and set lists and um get comments or there's a whole bunch of methods in here we can create nodes from the creation loader a configuration loader um there's a ton, tons of stuff you can do you can play around the documentation on the sponge website is amazing you can go read it up there um so i recommend you guys who are looking into creating sponge plugins try this out play with it maybe using your plugins but for now thank you guys for watching i'll catch you guys next video